Hey guys, it is Kelly Ann and I'm coming at you with the cat ears um, and taking a packing break to record this video of my whip haul. <laughs> so um, I'm going to try to make this not super long, but I do have a lot of whips, but I don't want to spend too much time on every single one only because I have a lot of them um, and I'm in the middle of packing so um, I want to I want to do this the last video that I made was at the beginning of this current year and because of my intro music it got flagged for copyright but that music is on a ton of videos so I don't know so it's a private video so you can't see it anymore so, um, this is what my whips are currently going into my trip. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, all right. The first one that I'm going to talk about is my Barbara Anna. This is the great and small, all creatures, great and small by Barbara Anna designs. And I dyed this fabric for it. It is an 18 count Ada. I really need to get working on this piece again. <clears throat> and I keep this one in one of my, this was actually a surprise gift, um, but this was from Emily C. Okay, the next one right in front of me is on Ada as well, but it's the called for. I cannot remember the name of the color or the count. I believe this is probably 14 count, but I can't think of the na the name of the color, but it is picture this plus, um, and it's the called for. But this is the Happily Ever After Sal by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, and yeah, I'm halfway through. Like, I'm literally at the 50% mark. So let me, just the sunlight is coming through. There you go. And I do really still want to finish this one, even though I have no clue what to do with the finished series. I have the other two parts of this series finished, Once Upon a Time and Storybook Classics. No idea what I'm going to do with them. They're just all so big. I don't know what to do. Um, but there's that one. And then... Oh, and then this is in, I'm pretty sure Hannah doesn't make bags anymore, but this is in an H Cats Crafts bag. I used to talk about her bags all the time whenever I very first started doing floss tube, um, but I don't think she makes them anymore. And this is another H Cats Crafts bag. It's a Doctor Who bag. And in this bag, I keep, this is going to, this is ridiculous. This is all the Satsuma Streets, um, Pretty Little Cities printed out, ready to go um, for whenever I want to start a new city. And all the fabric is in here as well because I'm doing them all on the same color and count fabric. Um, but I have two of them in progress. I have Pretty Little DC. And this is um, 16 count Crystal Ada in confetti by picture this plus so that's pretty little dc and pretty little italy i need to get these back out as well and maybe start a new city who knows okay Let's talk about the whips, sorry. Let's talk about the whips that are currently in my living room because they are on my Christmas wheel or um, one that I want to get to soon, maybe finish it. So we'll get into those. So one of the first ones is my Frosted Pumpkin Citrus 12 Days of Christmas. I am pretty sure this is Crystal Doubloon by Frosted Pumpkin. It is 14 count. So I have 
these three blocks to finish the musical notes and then the entire lace border but that's on my Christmas wheel to be worked on in December super cute hopefully I can get this one finished Another Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, I cannot remember the name of this fabric. I want to say it's like Splash or something like that. But it is a crystal 14 count Ada by Picture This Plus. Um, and this is for the Frosted Pumpkins. <sighs> Gingerbread Lane. That's how far I am. I have debated taking this in and out of my whip list for a long time. I didn't like the original fabric that I started it on, so then I restarted it on this fabric, and I liked it more, but it is a boring stitch to me the last time I tried working on it. So I'm kind of hoping it's on my Christmas wheel for this year, so I'm hoping that... Um, whenever I spin to work on this that it will re-spark the love for this pattern because I really do love this pattern I just don't love working on this pattern so I'm kind of hoping that it'll re-spark that like I love the pattern enough to actually stitch the pattern if that makes sense um and if it does then great and if it doesn't then I probably will pull this out and just put this fabric back in my fabric stash and maybe another time. Um, the next one, this is one that I really do want to get finished soon. I'm about 50% done with this, um, maybe like 48%, whatever. Um, but it is Lizzie Kate's Wouldn't It Be Nice? Or Wouldn't It Be Great? My bad. Wouldn't It Be Great? I did change majority of the colors in this just a little bit, just a teensy, um, to colors that went really well with this fabric color. I do not know what this fabric is. Um, I'm in a quilt guild and a lot of them used to cross stitch and so as they clean out their rooms or stumble across things, they just find stuff and they give it to me. They show up to a meeting with bags and just give it to me. And this is one of those pieces. I'm pretty sure though, I do have a package of this um, that is still sealed and I'm pretty sure it's the same fabric. I know that it's 32 count linen, but I, the color and the brand, I'm not sure. Um, but I really liked it for this piece and I changed up the colors to kind of go better with it. So, um, and I'm doing a couple of like, other changes in this pattern but this is one that I would love to have finished so I might work on this during my staycation week so after I'm back from my trip but before I go back to work so yeah this currently lives in the living room <sighs> my Haid always lives in my living room um, that's just literally where she lives and so <laughs> Here she is. So page one. So anytime that I just want to mindlessly work on something, maybe I have a migraine um, and bouncing back and forth from like a pattern to fabric, switching threads and all that is just not conducive to feeling not nauseous and etc. Um, comes with having those chronically. Um, this is something that I can mindly do is slowly work on all the black um, solid pages of my Haid. Um, but that is page number one. This is my second page. My second page, all that's left is kind of like this checkered pattern of 310 and 3850. So um, doesn't require as much concentration, but still requires concentration. So that's the second page. And then this is my third page. And this camera shows her so much better than ever before she's so beautiful and she's literally going to be the size of a person so um I really need to get this back out it's not going to be until the first of the year but I really do want to stick to my word of at least a week a month progress on her um 
I don't know. One of these days I will literally just keep her out and just not work on anything else. One of these days it will happen because I just, I really truly love working on her so much, but all the black really starts getting to you. Um, the next one, this is also in the, in the living room currently because I'm going to use the other half of this fabric for Lizzie Kate's Christmas rolls, but the first half of it is Halloween rolls. So I did get two of the rolls finished, um, and the top border. I did change this color to a darker gray rather than the light blue. And because I am rearranging the rules to an order that I like better um, or that makes more of a logical sense to me, I can't do the boxes around them because they aren't every other and some of the patterns were designed to have the box. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, so I think I'm going to use this straw color for in between every rule. Um... <clears throat> just because it'll also put a neutral in between some of the really bright, funky colors. And I really like it. So the other half is going to start Lizzie Kate's Christmas rules in December. So pretty excited about that. And that is, oh, my hate is on an 18 count Ada that I didn't even soak to get out the, um, like the starch. Um, I just threw it into a giant pot of gray writ and I left it in for like less than five minutes and that's how it came out all marbly because of the starch and stuff. Um, and my Halloween and Christmas rules, this is picture this plus 32 count Lugana in Sterling. Um, if I can remember the fabric information, I will let you know. Um, some of them I'm not going to be able to remember, but I will try my hardest. Um, and that's something that I want to get better at next year. Um, this is another Emily C bag, the bones bag. And this is what I have all of my prayer cross stitches in, um, waiting to be stitched. But my current one that I have is the Apostles Creed and this is by Heartstring Samplery um, and this is apparently um, it's not the Catholic version but it's pretty close but I really truly love this um, this is how wide it is I have um, about half of page three done I've almost all of page four done that's this part right here I just have some of the words left and then this is page five. Um, so I have my dad's initials and my mom's. I just have to do mine and the year and finish the floral on the bottom. And then I have two pages up at the top left. So um, this is also going to be worked on for Christmas stitching. And I would love to see this one get done, but I definitely want to get it done if not in December because um even though the words go pretty fast some of this stuff doesn't go as fast um it's all done in DMC except for the angel's wings I did in clamshell by I want to say clamshell's weeks dye works and I'm doing our initials in clamshell um but everything else is the DMC and it is on Picture This Plus 18 Count Antique. I really wanted it to look like ink spilled parchment. Um, and it's what I want to do all of the prayers that I have in my arsenal on. Um, so this is a Christmas stitch. I really, truly love it. Okay. This one also stays in my living room year round. This is another one that I would love to see get finished in 2019. I started this, I believe in 2015, whenever the pattern came, it either came out in 2015 or I just discovered Clouds Factory in 2015. Could have been both. Um, <clears throat> but I bought the whole pattern at one time. It was like $56 on Etsy and, um, yeah, <laughs> so um, I have about, I 
page wise, I have 50% of it done page wise, but like stitch wise, um, you know, some of the pages aren't as, I don't know. I, I probably have 40% done at least, but all right. So I'll just go top to bottom and I will roll it. So this is clouds factory. This is just an 18 count Ada. I got the biggest piece that you can get at Hobby Lobby. And I dyed it myself with some purple and blue and pink and I put bleach on it to do some really crazy effects. Um, Cause purple was the only color not in the pattern. And um, the only pink is Umbridge and Luna's glasses. So it worked out really well. I really, really, really love this pattern. And um, look how cute this little birdie box is. It's just adorable. Um, yeah, I really want this done. I wanna make it a wall hanging and hang it in my London guest room. All right, I have two whips in my hands. Um, one you've seen before, this is the Ionomy for my friend um, as a gift. I just need to finish outlining the Y and then I just need to finish filling in the last three letters. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely hate, with a passion, the DMC E390 or whatever it is, the glow in the dark thread. It's just so straggly and so hard to work with but it does glow in the dark and this is going to look really awesome in the end and the stitches as hard as it is to work with um they aren't that awful which is great i mean there's a few that you can see um aren't as good because the thread is a little bit more unruly but it's not that bad um and this is an 18 count ada that i dyed myself galaxy galaxy-ish. All right. The final whip that currently lives in the living room. This is one of my Christmas wheel stitchings and this is Country Cottage Needleworks The Nativity and this is on Picture This Plus Crystal Mystic and you can see it a whole lot better in person but some of the darker colors are a little bit harder to see but I still I'm, I'm still at the point where I think this is gonna look really good whenever it's finished so um, I really like it it says City of David right now and then I'm starting the part that the Shepherd is on so excited about that so I have two bins next to me of whips so We'll just get into it. I have so many whips. <laughs> All right, so the first one, um, and like I said, I will try to remember all the fabrics. Um, I can most likely, at least with the fabrics by LJ, tell you that it's his fabric, but I might not be able to tell you the name of the fabric um, because it's been a long time. If you watch any of my older videos though where I like started the piece, I definitely do say the fabric name. I just don't remember it right now. Um, but this is, uh, I made a sampler, like I went in Excel and I figured out how to make a sampler of all of the Pin Pal um, stamps. So this is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Pin Pal stamps and I have four of them completed and one in progress. But I came up with like a layout, like if you go to the post office and you buy like a stamp sheet, um, I kind of wanted it to look like that. So this is what I have so far. This is a, a, a Fabrics by LJ and this is a 14 count, I am pretty sure. Um, but I cannot remember the name of it at all and I don't still have the little card of what the color, what the color's name is. Um, so yeah. The next one is 18 count picture this plus brash and this is Stitch Rovia's um, Great Britain sampler and this is how far I am on that.
And this is a huge piece. Um, oh, and I don't think I said the name of the fabric. The name of the fabric is Brash. Did I say that? It's in Brash. Picture this plus 18 count. Okay, the next one is one of my newest ones. Um, I truly do not know what the name or brand of this fabric is. Like I said, it was just given to me. The tag, all it said was 32 count hand dyed um, linen or um, hand dyed hand dyed Belfast by days gone by. So I don't have a color name, um, but this is the Primitive Hairs Say Witches of Salem. And I have part of the list of the Salem witch names from the trials. I started that this last October. Okay, the next one, this is a Fabrics by LJ. This is 18 count in Lavender Skies. And this is Satsuma Streets Zodiacs. And I <clears throat> went into Excel again. Um, calculated the largest size and I designed a border for this and so I don't mind showing you this part I designed this border but um, I haven't decided if I want to do all of the checkers inside of the borders or not or if I want to leave it like this it looks very art deco which I think the strong black lines are gonna do really well to help make the colors um, the very colorful Zodiacs pop even more. So this is gonna eventually be a very, very big piece. Um, but I really like it. I need to get back into that one. The next one is Plague Doctor. This is a 14 count Ada that I ice dyed. This is one of my very first ice dye attempts from 2015 or 2016, I believe. Um, and this has Busby Designs from Etsy's Plague Doctor on it. I still have a ways to go. Okay, the next one is a, um, is a Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This is Jack's Halloween Dream. This is the newest one that just came out. And this is on a 16 count, 16 count fabrics by LJ in Starburst. And can you see this? Yeah, you can kind of see the sparkle that I put in the ghost, but this is so cute. And normally every year they have um, like a an equivalent matching um, Christmas pattern. So I'm going to be interested to see what Jack is up to for Christmas. Um, the next one, I really want to get this one back out too. I know that I keep on saying that, but I truly, truly, truly feel that way. Um, but this is Soda Stitch Sewing Cats. Um, the reason why I haven't gotten this one back out as much as I love stitching on it and want to work on it is because I'm trying to redesign all of the cats to look like cats that we've had in my life. Um, and that's going to be really hard, actually. So um, I haven't gotten this back out because I haven't wanted to, I, don't, I guess, like reconfigure colors. But I do want to finish this. And um, this is a 16 count, 16 count Ada that I like watercolor dyed myself. So another one that I really, really actually do wanna finish, but it's gonna require some creative thought and I just haven't wanted to do that lately. Um, the next one, I'm pretty sure this is 16 count earthen by Picture This Plus. It is the called for color and size and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But this is Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries National Park. This is the first one. This is how far I am. This was for the 100 year anniversary. 
Look at that little bison or buffalo, whatever you want to call them. I like calling them bison. Um, so cute. Nope. All right. The next one is Fabrics by LJ. I'm pretty sure this is 18 count. I do know that it is Mermaid's Playground. And this is Barbara Anna Designs, A New World. So I have half of part three and part of part four started. I love it on this fabric. All the worlds are like so whimsical and colorful. And so I really thought that this fabric would be really fun. So the witch, the witch world goes up here and then it's the farm, then the woods, then the town. And then at the very bottom is the, um, it's not called ocean world, but sea, it's the sea life one. Um, so it's like ships, it's like at a harbor. So there's like ships and a mermaid and fish and it's really cool. Okay, and the last one in this bucket is Another Fabrics by LJ Fabric. It is 18 count, but I have no recollection of what the name of the fabric is. It's, I think, like coastal or coastal waters, crystal waters, something. It has to do with water. I do know that, but the name actually escapes me. Um, but it is Satsuma Streets Mermaid Lagoon. I did edit the mermaid. She's supposed to be like blue with dark blue hair. And, um, I totally changed her up. I still have quite a bit of this. I have a lot of seaweed left that comes up behind her and fish, but I'm almost done with the bottom of the pattern. That is that bucket. All right. Last bucket of whips, yay. Are y'all ready? <laughs> All right, so let's just dive in. This first one is Stitch Rovia. This is a stitch in time, um, but it's not on her Etsy. This was in a magazine, and this is on 14 count picture this plus broke fab fabric. So it's the sewing machine that's made up of words. Sorry. So that's going to be really cool. And I picked a funky fabric for that because some of the words are the fabric make up the word and you stitch around it. And so I wanted the fabric to be like kind of cool in between there. This next one is Bygone Stitches One Nation and it's stitched on 18 count picture this plus murky because I wanted it to look like a really old, gross, crusty flag. And I've succeeded. So some of the stars started. That is the width of the blue. And I have Louisiana on there. Oh no. Where's its bag? All right, the next one is another Stitch Rovia. This is three different patterns. Um, I took a part of the first pattern, the You Are My Sunshine pattern, and I made it into a separator and a border for the entire piece for all three patterns, and I absolutely love this. This is on a 16 count crystal um, Ada in Heroic from Picture This Plus. So it's going to be all three parts. The you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dealer, how much I love you. So we have an orange, yellow base, blue, and a pink base. So very stinking cute. Okay. 
This is a little stitcher pattern. This is on 14 count Ada by Picture This Plus in Hero, no, not Heroic, in Huntress. And this is the little stitcher on Etsy. And this is Melissa and the Bee Keepers. Um, and I'm making this into a sampler. So two of the other B patterns from the little stitcher, I'm going to put above and below this one and make a little sampler. So this is just one part of it. The next one is soda stitch pasta time. And this is just on an 18 count piece of Ada that I coffee tea dyed and then baked. And then I took some wine colored writ dye and I just made a little bit and I dipped a wine glass into it and I made wine splatters. So, oop, that's upside down, my bad. So I'm gonna do pasta time on this wine stained piece of Ada. So I think it looks really good. And more would be done on this, but most of the colors, whenever I first started this, were not in my box because they were in other whips. <laughs> so um, I need to go back through my box and pull more of the colors that are available. <laughs> um, okay, so this is on 14 count Ada from Pictures Plus in Voodoo. And this is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries Halloween Sampler. Y'all saw this a couple months ago. For Halloween, I am so close to being finished. So another one that I cannot wait to finish. <coughs> Come on. Okay. The next one, this is on 32 count Lugana. Heroic by Picture This Plus. This is My Lady of the Flag by Mirabilia. I am doing it in the green conversion. It's so pretty. I'm starting to lose the light, so it just got a little bit darker in here. The next one is, um, I cannot remember the name of this fabric, but it is an 18 count. From Picture This Plus, um, Ada. I just can't remember the name of it, but it is a bright blue. Um, and this is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitcheries um, Fruit of the Month. Okay, but I am not doing the little banners, and I'm also doing the names of the fruit in Italian. And the apple, I did the slice a green apple because I can. But look how cute that little pear is. Oh, I just love the, I love this so much. This is gonna go in my kitchen whenever it's done. Okay, the next one is another one that I really, really need to just finish because I really, really, really like it. Um, this is another Stitch Rovia pattern. This is Be Inspired. It originally came out in a magazine. But this one is now available on her Etsy shop. And this is stitched on a 16 count uh, Picture This Plus in the color Mesa because I wanted it to look like skin. So this is another one where I started filling in some of the colors and you can see that there's a lot of color missing in the top half where I started filling in the colors and that's because a lot of them were not in my box whenever I pulled them and they're so perfect for each other that I don't want to substitute the colors on this one. So I really want to wait to see, I really want to use all the right colors. Um, the next one, this is on a Picture This Plus 16 count Fathom and this is Barbara Anna Designs Black Cat Hollow and yes I have altered some of the colors. I did make one of the cats white. Um, I'm putting little bands on all the little witches hats. The words are in purple and I changed up this color over here. 
um, but I think this is really cute. I love these colors on this fabric. I just think it's really fun. And we're almost done. That's exciting. You have no idea. Okay. All right. So the next one is the Master and the Macabre by the Cricut Collection. This is on a 14 count piece of doubloon by Picture This Plus. 40 count. Did I already say that? Um, and this is just, it's insane to stitch on. But look, oh man, the light. The light is leaving. I am sorry about that. Um, so this is how far I am on my Edgar Allan Poe piece. I am changing up a ton of the colors in this. Because I want it to have a certain look. This is just a piece of 16 count Ada from Hobby Lobby um, and I left it white, nothing super special. This is the Ursula Michael Let's Wine. All I have left are the grapes down here. This was supposed to be my gift for my cousin who I'm going to go see this next, uh, while actually, it's who I'm with while you're watching this. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this is, this part of the pattern is really hard to see and kind of obnoxious. And it was really not um, helping my migraines at all while I was working on it. So um, I will eventually get that done. It will go to her. Um, it just might be next year's present. All right, time for my oldest whip. And I really just need to try working on this again and seeing if I want to continue on with this or... If I want to restart it on a different fabric or something, I'm not sure. But this is, um, the pattern is by The World in Stitches. And this is just, I believe it's either 14 or 16 count Ada. But it's, it's literally just the Hogwarts crest and I don't have that much done. Because it's so stiff. It's just, it's really hard to work with fabric. All right. The next one is hands on design, the never ending cycle. Now I think I mentioned that I have taken this one off of my official whip list, but looking at it again, I really truly do like this. I was doubting the colors, but looking at it again, I'm not doubting the colors. So this is officially back on the whip list. Um, this is that same blue piece of fabric that the Lizzie Kate's Wouldn't It Be Great is on. So I know that it's a 32 count, but I don't know the color and I don't know the brand. Um, it's like a package thing that you probably could buy like in the 90s or something um, or early 2000s from like Hobby Lobby. So I don't know. So this is the Never Ending Cycle by Hands On Design. And I chose my own color palette for this. So this is officially back as a whip. <laughs> okay, there is one more, but this one is coming, is already off the whip list and it's gonna stay off the whip list. So this is a 32 count Jobelin that I dyed. And I started the chalk series sunflower manor on it i genuinely love this pattern i i really do even though i made some comments because i thought it was silly that they all have chickens in them um and why was our opinion asked if it wasn't going to be taken serious i know that i've made comments and that's fine everybody has an opinion um i probably rubbed some people the wrong way with it it, it is what it is um, but I genuinely love those patterns. I've bought every single one of them, despite my opinion that I've said, but my house is not even close to being country. It's not even close to being rustically themed. I, I love this. I think that it's beautiful. I would probably never put this in my house though. It's literally just not my style whenever it's all said and done. 
Like, I really like the flowers. I might just stitch, like, the flowers. But the rest of it truly is just not my style. I... And I've done this with other patterns. You get enveloped in the excitement of a pattern and a new release and everybody wanting it and it's so exciting and all of that and I really think that that's I got swept into it this last year and last year with all with the chalk for the farm with the chalk on the on the house the here lies my needles I love that concept of having a piece to put your dead, broken, gross, old, whatever, not working anymore needles. I think that is such a beautiful concept to honoring our needles. That pattern though, and I bought it, I don't really like it. <laughs> like, I, I, I do, but I don't like it for my style. Like, I love a lot of artists' work, but it's, also not the vibe that I want in my house but I love it and respect it and I've bought patterns in the last year year and a half that were total bandwagon I got caught up in the excitement of it all and some of them I started and some of them I didn't some of them I've already you know gotten off my whip list um, and threw away or sent to someone else or picked it out and I don't feel bad about it because some of it is the process but especially in the last like year year and a half that I've been more hardcore decluttering than I ever have before you just start thinking about stuff and this is one that I never wanted to get out of my whip pile because I really do I love these colors Sunflowers is one of my favorite flowers. My birthday is two days before Halloween, so I'm obsessed with pumpkins. The colors of the house are like the colors of my house, basically. Um, so I love everything about this pattern. But at the same time, whenever I start thinking about some of these things that I'm stitching and I think about what have I been doing with my house? How have I been cleaning out and cleaning up my spaces to really maximize my personal happiness and everything that I'm looking at and is there something that I would move get rid of or whatever to make room for this piece whenever it's finished and I don't have a yes for that at the moment and I don't have that much work done on it so I don't feel as bad you know I don't want to say getting rid of it, but picking it out, I can always stitch it later. If I change my mind, I can always stitch it later, right? So um, it has nothing to do, and I think I said this the last time that I, I did, it wasn't a whip parade, but I talked about I actually chunked out some of my whips. Um, I think I talked about it then. It's nothing to do with the designer, with the pattern, because obviously I really liked it. I bought it. Um, I really like the concept of the Here Lies My Needles pattern. But the pattern itself is beautiful, but it's not the style or like, it's not what I want to make space for in my house. And I'm to the point now where if I'm not willing to make space for it in my house, why am I stitching it? Which is another reason why I'm having a hard time with those couple of finished projects and not knowing how to finish them that I talked about in a previous video that all of y'all have given me some fantastic ideas about how to finish some of those. And they are all fantastic ideas, but I have a... I have a negative to all of them because really I think a big part of it is I just don't love them anymore and I just don't connect with those patterns that stitching anymore and I kind of just don't want them anymore but I don't know those those I'm still kind of on the fence of what I want to do with them um, but this one 
you know, this is a really big piece of fabric that I can put in my arsenal. And I haven't worked too much on this. So I don't feel bad at ripping it out. And I can always, if I change my mind, I can always start it again. Like, that's the thing. If I change my mind, I can always start it over. So that's kind of where I'm at. Those are all of my whips as of right now. Um, so yeah, I'm excited um, that I finally filmed this. Um, it has been a long time because the last whip parade that is actually up on my channel is now almost two years old. So um, some of these are definitely in that video. Um, some of them are farther along. Some of them are not, sadly. Um, but trying to work on that, trying to get the number down, or at least, um, I mean, the number to be down would always be amazing, but I'm also trying to only start the things that I know for a fact I will make room for in my house. And that's, that's just where I'm at. Um, with a lot of things actually with buying books, movies, all that. It's not just my cross stitch. So, um, anyways, that is my whip parade. I really hope that y'all enjoy that. I am currently up in the Northeast having a blast with my family. And so next week you will get another update and there will probably be a lot of updates. So, um, cause it'll be a two week time span of actual, um, weekly updates. So I hope that y'all have had a fantastic Thanksgiving yesterday and are shopping away if that's what you do on Black Friday or just spending time with family, but also getting lots of stitchy time in. And I will see y'all very soon. Bye guys.